Good afternoon. It's the uh, Mayor of Felix again doing uh, one of his informal chats with people from the high street. This afternoon, it is my pleasure to speak to Pauline from P&K Home Interiors. Now, not a shop I would necessarily go into, Pauline, not because I don't think it's any good, but it's one my wife absolutely adores and I know keeps coming in and having a look and you're probably costing me a fortune or she can spend her own money, of course, it doesn't matter. <laughs> She loves your stuff, so it's, it's a delight to be speaking to you this afternoon. Are you well? Thank you very much. Good, good. I, we, we were talking before the interview, you've had to, you had to furlough because of the sudden uh, sort of lockdown procedures and guidance. Uh, but I understand you weren't sitting there idle whilst you were furloughed. You, you've started to look at an online offer. Yes, I had sort of like a basic um, website um, and I sort of like outgrown that really. So. Um, in lockdown, I designed a whole new website, um, putting everything together. That, that was quite a lengthy process because I'm not really yeah. IT based. But no. yes, I've now got a, um, an all singing, dancing website. Lovely. But you're a bit like me, from what we were saying. You're a bit of a cool person, aren't you? Yes. And Very much so. Uh, although you want people to go onto the online, where do you want them really? in the shop because that's where they can they can um see what they're buying they can feel what they're buying i can advise i can give tips um and and hints um i paint furniture so i often tell people how to go about painting their own furniture it's just having that interaction with people on the high street definitely excellent you've got a lovely and um, don't take it the wrong way a lovely quaint little shop there haven't you yes it's gorgeous how are you gonna how many can you allow in at any one time uh, we're doing two in at a time, um, right. and that that that's just that's just comfortable with um, another member of staff. Um, so, and and that also just allows that member of staff to feel comfortable yeah. with two in the shop as well. Lovely, because I'm I'm probably some shopper's dream or shopkeeper's dream. I go in, I want a pair of shoes, I want that pair of shoes, and I'm out. The mayoress will be in there, and she'll find about five different pairs of shoes. We go for the first one, the old classic, uh, and she won't mind me saying that. You want the people to come in. Do you want them in for too long though, or do you want to try and to get the churn? I suppose. No, I want people to come in and feel comfortable. They're not going to be rushed. Right, they're they're not going to feel. I don't want them to feel under pressure that they've got to buy something. All I ask is that they sanitise their hands so that they are free and safe to pick up products and feel them. So I would like them to feel as if the um, shop was um, before lockdown in normal in normal times, just that we've obviously got a few restrictions in place. Superb. Do you know, Pauline, it's been lovely talking to you. I wish you all the best for the shop. If you need me or the mayoress particularly to come and give you any support, <laughs> we both love you. I know she would because she loves your shop. So can I wish you all the best and perhaps in six months we can uh, have another one of these, hopefully in the shop and see how you're getting on. That would be amazing. I'd like, yeah, I'd like you to come into the shop and, uh, and good luck yourself and good luck um, everybody uh, in Felix though, especially the small and independent retailers. Good luck Lovely. everyone. Thank you very much.